Hello friends, welcome to Subhashana's creation. Hope you all are doing good. Today again I have come with another beautiful recipe. The recipe is a Gujarati cuisine. Its name is Dhokla. So let's start preparing it. So the ingredients for the Dhokla are gram flour, uh, one and a half uh, cup. Ingredients to, uh, to be mixed uh, to the batter are lemon juice, lime juice or lemon juice, uh, two tablespoons, two sliced uh, chilies, 2 tablespoon sugar, a pinch of turmeric for the color, salt according to taste, 1 tablespoon ginger chopped and few curry leaves and water according to desired consistency. For the turka we will need refined oil which is uh, which will be 2 tablespoon then uh, mustard seeds 2 tablespoon then chopped uh, coriander leaves 1 bunch of chopped coriander leaves slice 1 uh, chili then 2 tablespoon of sugar and few curry leaves and along with it we will also need 1 tablespoon of lime juice or lemon juice I have added all the ingredients into the basin also I will add one small package of ino and now I will add water according to desired consistency I will add one packet of ino into the batter and give a good mix Keep stirring properly so that lumps are not formed. It should be of smooth consistency, not too thin or too thick. Once you are done with the ino, it's time to steam the batter. Now grease an aluminium tin properly and put the batter into it. I have put the batter into the aluminium tin and I will use this process of preparing it since I don't have a microwave in Shillong. If you are using a microwave, you hardly need 5 to 6 minutes to prepare the dhokla. Keep the flame low while preparing it and cover the tin with the lid. The dhokla is cooking, let's start the tempering process. Let's prepare the turka. Heat oil in a oak and when the oil is hot, add mustard seeds into it. Now I will add the mustard seeds and once they begin to splutter, add the curry leaves, also, the, also add the chilies, give a gift here. I have added sugar into the lime juice and gave a good mix. Now this will be added into the oil. Now add fresh coriander leaves. Keep stirring properly. Add half cup of water into it and prepare the sugar syrup. It should, it should be sticky. Now it's time to check if my thukla is cooked or not. So I'll insert a toothpick and see if the crumb has set. If it comes out clean, that means the thukla is cooked from inside. So see, it has come out clean. That means the thukla is done. Since my thukla is cooked, now it's time to pour in the tarka or the tempering. Let everything set for a few minutes. You will see that the basin will absorb the sugar syrup properly. So my super yummy, super soft, delicious thokla is ready to be served. So kindly try it and let me know how it came out. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos, like, comment and share. Thank you so much for watching my recipe. Stay happy, healthy and safe. Bye bye.